this is Sasa here and today I'm testing the DuraClear varnishes by Deco Art. I bought them at the local art shop and they are about three Canadian each. For this test I'm using a piece of cardboard and painting different colors. I went to the art shop and described my project and they recommended me the satin varnish. I tried it out and I really liked it so I went back and got the other ones to do a test. I wanted a clear protective coat that I could use indoors all year round because I don't have a proper place to do any spray painting indoors and I don't have a garage either. I use these varnishes for my cosplay props and other paper mache projects. So after the prep, I did three coats of varnish on each section. On the back of each bottle, they pretty much say the same thing except for they change the word gloss, ultra matte, etc. It's a durable, non-yellowing finish. You shake gently and apply with a flat brush and allow to dry to the touch before adding additional coat. For this test, I poured on the varnish and then brushed it out. For artwork that is more vertical, I first squeeze some onto a palette before applying it. I'm using brushes from the dollar store. They have a paint smell with the gloss one smelling a little bit stronger, but I don't find them offensive and it's no problem to paint indoors. They are water-based and I clean up my brushes with water only. I find doing thin coats works better than a thick one. For my projects, I normally do around two to three coats. It dries really fast and I normally can do all my three coats in one day. It says indoor, outdoor, however I've never tried it outdoors or put any of my projects under the weather. So I can't say if it lasts outdoor or not. If you're concerned about brush strokes, I find that it doesn't show, especially with more coats of varnish. I find that the varnish helps to hide the brush strokes. And the brush strokes are more from the paint that's underneath. I have used these varnishes with spray painted projects and it looks very smooth. So the three coats are all done. You can see the difference in the finish by how the light reflects off. I'm using one white softbox lighting. One of the reasons I made this board is to help me decide which finish I want to use for my different projects. The finish you choose is up to your personal preference. I do recommend these varnishes. I will buy them again. They're easy to use, cheap and effective. In the States, I believe you can buy the larger size bottles. However, my art shop in Canada, we only have the small ones. It obviously depends on the project, but I really like the soft touch varnish. It gives a nice smooth finish. Each have a different feel. The gloss ones feel more plastically and the matte one almost feels like just paper. And the soft touch has a very smooth finish. Before painting any of my props or projects, I always do some tests to figure out what I want. Here are some examples of its uses. These needles are made of wood and plastic, spray painted and then satin varnish. These are wooden beads painted with acrylic metallic gold paint and then high gloss varnish. This is paper mache with newspaper and then acrylic paint followed by soft touch varnish. I have a full tutorial on how to make this ramen box. Please check out my channel for more details. This is just a cardboard box that I glued the colored paper on followed by ultra matte varnish. And if you want to and can support me creating more free content, uh, either purchase a coffee or buy something from my Etsy shop. Thank you for watching.